Ladies and gentlemen, let's check out this uh, new DLC. It's time. Let's go. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Hidden loot. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, wow. Graveside plane. What a nice view. Okay, let's go there to get a map. And get all the loot. Audio is being weird. Interesting. Surely it's gonna stop on its own. Surely. It did stop on its own. Is that an enemy or that finger lady? Nah, no, that's an enemy. the music map found oh my okay there's gonna be lots of uh, awesome exploration 
talk to me. Everyone's burned to cinders, burned away, put to the torch by Mesmer and his lot. What did we do to deserve such fate? We merely lived our lives. We lived in peace. Uh, there should be... Finger remedy. Yeah. Blade of Mercy.
Mark new items. Okay, show recent tab. Okay, cool. There we go. New stuff. Let's read it. A thin, blood-stained dagger. No longer fit for use. Raises attack power after each critical hit. Horn scent. Employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken, but has acquired an extra... a, a spectral aura. Fiery blood butterfly with black cinder wings. Material used for crafting items. Flies in war-torn lands that have been scoured by Mesmer's flame. They burn in dark and slender ribbon of fire. Okay, this is an old item. A uh, nut-shaped lump of resin that exuded from the roots of trees. Material used for crafting items. Found your tree roots everywhere in the realm of shadow. Serves as primitive catalyst, making it suitable for processing using sorceries, incantations and the like. Golden Remnant of the Grace bestowed upon those who fell in the Realm of Shadow. Used to gain 10,000 runes. The Skadua Tree is the shadow of the Earth Tree. No wonder Grace shines ever so brilliantly. A Hefty Fire Pot from this. Milky White Mushroom that grows in Solen Lands. Material used for crafting. Flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat, can serve as pot innards. A record crafting technique of greater potentate who roamed land near, the, near and far. Haunted by grotesque practice of the village of birth, he stuffed great pots with manner of things. Hefty fire pot. Berry-like fruit that grows in spring, spirit grave grass. Material used for crafting items, easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow. Though its bitter taste makes it unsuitable for consumption by humans. Solen lands. The flesh of mushroom is similar to raw meat. Okay, can be served. Okay, realm of shadow. Map of Gravesite Plain. Somber plain covered in spirit graves. The spirit uh, spiral tower of the Horsent lies to the northwest, and the entire expanse is marred by the harrowing ravages of war. Okay, awesome. Any more Luta? There should be more Luta. There's always more Luta. I'm whispering you already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. So. Let's see that place. And on the way, let's get lost. Because there's so much cool stuff. Of course I'm not gonna go to that place right away. Because of course, you know?
that looks awesome. Ooh, new item, do gem. He's not alone. But he may want to fight alone. Ooh, black steel great hammer. Let's see. Weapon of the Black Knight, Servants of Mesmer the Impaler, Great Hammer of Black Steel with decorative embellishment in gold, Blessed with the Earth Tree Incantation. Further holy imbuement with, uh, will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Guard counters cause a burst of power, skill endure. Assume an anchor head, an uh, anchored stance to brace for incoming attack, briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using this skill is reduced. And this is also new. Succulent plant has supped on the night taint uh, tinged dew. Material used for crafting glows at night and blossoms mainly at the water side. Said to have been used in practice of spirit medicine long ago wake up sir sir don't trust you schedule tree fragments can be found across the realm of shadow consume these at sites of grace to bolster your schedule tree blessing Skadua Tree Blessing bolsters the recipient abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the Realm of Shadow. Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay. I have two. Splinter of Skadua Tree that contains Golden Brilliance, acquired at the Church of Marika and other places in the Realm of Shadow. Consume these at the sites. Okay, we read that. It is said that when the Skadua Tree crumbles from its core that it will scatter across the entire Realm of Shadow. The people of the Earth Tree collect the splinters and use them as prayer. I need to check that. that uh at the grey site. Pretty sure that's new. Oh, it's the it's the alarm guy. Mm 
the alarm guy. These guys don't care. Fire coil, that's new. loot up there. What's this? Blessing of Marika. Soldier helmet. Reading time. Let's see. Read that. I read that. Let's see this one. Helm worn by the soldiers who serve Mesmer, the Impaler, the Iron Helm features a visor. Though the engraving upon the forehead is a Skadura tree design, it is etched in gold, a small consolation to those forced to wage a war without grace or honor. Special Physic blessed by Marika, the Queen of the Earth Tree, completely restores HP and heals all ailments. Marika once created several of these Physics for Mesmer's sake. But never again. This one gives me 500 runes for those who fell in the realm of shadow. Device of fire used by Mesmer soldiers, lingering embers, bundled into coil, craftable item. Use FP to conjure tiny fire snakes from the spot that is thrown. The writhing snakes pursue foes. Fire was a symbol of the crusade, and even Mesmer's rank and file, soldiers would wield it.
Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. What if there was a secret thing behind the waterfall? Hmm. What if I should have hidden the wall? Hmm. Surely it's fine. Surely it's fine. See the schedule tree thing. Blessing. Revered spirit ash blessing. Consume revered spirit ash to bolster your revered spirit ash blessing. Bolsters both summon spirits and spectral steeds abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, consume. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting.
Ooh, is this a dungeon? My first dungeon? Let's go. I just want to see if there's something else out here. Items. Helm armor. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Steel greaves of the Knight of Solitude Jail. Part of a heavy armor set that covers the whole body in overlapping plates of steel. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Steel greatsword wielded by the Knights of Solitary Jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth and another solitude. Unique skill, Moon Slash. Sharply slash downward using great sword, shooting forward an arc of light. Strong attacks allow for advanced advanced follow-up.
Hello, good people. Okay, let's go check that hole. I'm curious about the hole. Oh, there's this thing. Cool. Work of wandering artist, remin uh, reminiscence of painting titled The Sacred Tower. The painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into the death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Cool. So, I can either go there, or on the bridge. Let's go there. fragment carved words colas i abandoned i abandoned here the first of the flesh of my body fie another treading the heels of michaela then as that woman would surely say we are in our purposes well aligned but understand your kind are not forgiven the Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. I believe Mikkel's apologies when he says our delivery will come, but never will I see your kind as worthy. And yet my oath I cannot overlook. If Mikkel is whom you would seek, then comrade, allow me to give you this. These are the sights of the crosses I found. I urge you, Follow after Mikila. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Cross map. I urge you, follow after Mikila. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Simple map drafted by Horsent, marked with the location of golden crosses. These crosses indicate Mikela's footprints. So there's one there, and one behind this. Empyrean. Blood Burgeon. Young Shoot. Heavy with Empyrean blood, material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. Set to burgeon forth from where the golden blood of Mikela, the wounded Empyrean, pulled. Ah, Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikela. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. 
They are Mikala the Kind's footprints. If you've yet to do so, be sure to have our dour little friend share his map of crosses, assuming you intend to trace Kind Mikala's path. I should also spend my my points. Let's check what's here. If not, I'll go on the bridge. There's a path there. Good day. You must be the tarnished. I am Ansbach. Formerly in service to Lord Moog, but now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me, which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation, to discern tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. May... I request a service of you. Six crosses identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to tender Mikola's footprints, or gravestones, which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. If you discover any, be certain to... I presume you just want... Oh yeah, I do want to find more. Mm-hmm. Absolutely do.
revered spirit ash blessing bolsters the summoned spirits and spectral steed abilities to deal and negate damage but only in the expansion area Man, this game is something else. Tower Settlement. Okay, I really... Really want to continue this way. However... I'm curious about that other path too. And then there's Bridge... And then there's... Other stuff. And I love it. Was there something this way? goes
Oh, this is here. Okay, sure. Let's go this way. Spirit Gravestone. used by horse and made by coating spiral horns with silver temporarily boosts item discovery can be sold for high price these trinkets were once symbolic of society's upper echelons piece of gray stone that uh, has started to turn into spirit material used for crafting items in places to where the dead have been brought since anti antiquity the oldest gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. Prospect Town. Let's see that item. Blood flower with meaty petals. Material used for crafting grows by blood fiends in pools of blood. Perhaps even the fiends admire blood's beauty. Any hidden enemies?
they feasting? Sounds like they're eating. Is this a scam chest? Am I gonna get... I'm not. Ultra God Heirloom. Talisman engraved with the lore of Outer God raises arcane. The clan who lost everything in the great fire speared upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. See what's there and there. Is that a jail? It's a bunch of dogs. Revered Spirit Ash. A bunch of dogs.
Wait, what are you? Why are you so golden? Silver of meat. Oh, they got struck by the lightning, that's why. I remember the lightning flowers. Oh, wow, look at this big boy. Stay whole. Oh. Okay. Mommy rat. Another painting. Incursion painting.
Blessed Blue Dew Talisman. Okay. Talisman depicting the blessing a boon that is a droplet of blue, luminescent sap of the earth tree, restores FP. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the earth tree would drip from the bots forever. But it's uh, but that age of plenty swiftly came up to a close, and with time the earth tree became more than an object of faith. A weapon comp comprised of linear double-sided blade attached to substantial guard, wielded by Oathseeker knights. Versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in a manner of straight sword. Skill, Impaling Thrust. Oathseeker Knight Helm, black with gold ornamentation. These knights set off on a quest of discovery, hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own choosing to serve in perfect lifelong devotion. I think I'm done here. Yeah, I think I'm done. So I can either go there. Or go check that. I think I'm gonna go check that. Before I explore the castle.
let's see if there are any holes on this hill. Maybe some dungeons and stuff. Grants an armament of heavy affinity and the following skill, Savage Lion's Claw, skill of the particularly brave, even among the red mains, somersault forward, striking foes with armament. An additional strike may be performed with an additional input, usable on swords, axes and hammers. Smaller imitation of the furnace golem's visage. Material used for crafting. Stone mask surrounded by curled horns, depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of Horsent. Hefty furnace pot. Abandoned Ailing Village. More spirit ash, nice. Oh, how it hurts from very tip of the toe. Ah, uh, help me, I must ask. Am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so?
ailment talisman. What's this? Depicting a soul taken by sickness. When certain ailments are triggered, the talisman grants resistance to the same ailment. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were giving a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. Uh, fly mold. Species of fungus know for its deathly sweet stench, material used for crafting, found by hunting man flies. Cultivated using a flesh and blood of man flies, it can serve as pot innards. Grave bird arm. Dungeon? Let's go. Bellurat Jail. Frozen maggot.
Present maggots that somehow continued to wriggle. Material used for crafting. Mainly found in jails. The maggots developed in great jar innards and are invaluable source of sustenance sustenance to the prisoners. Okay, that's one way. this okay that's not new oh please not the jar anything but that i promise i won't ever do it again i swear a living saint i'll surely be please you must forgive me forgive me please not the jar you say Is there going to be jar platforming? get turned into that in jar huh 
Huh. I think I can jump there, but... Hold on. No, I have to go there. Glass shard. Okay, this one for sure. Yeah, this one for sure. Oh! How they placed that one for you to think to land on it meanwhile that one is alive and it's an enemy I love it <laughs> so good Oh, there's another blood guy. Whoa, he has a big dingus. Was he that excited to see me? Wow. His thing was huge. Okay. That thing was big. I think I saw anything up there on those planks. So let's go this way. Uh oh, bridge. <laughs> bridge? Huh? And no enemy? Of course there's an enemy. the only one huh They scam, I love it. <laughs> I 
Hello? Any enemies? Get up. Get up. Lost Ashes of War. So I can go there or that way. Smithing stone. This dungeon is big. That guy for sure is alive. Yeah, let's see what's this way. Okay, this is a way back. And this takes me... Where is this? Okay, here, okay. I just want to get that loot and I'll be going... I'll be going down. Thank you. 
Oh, there's more loot there. Hello. Innards meat. Now I can continue. The mommy pot is mad. I think I can go down there. Maybe I... Oh, I can go there too. Hmm. This one seems more like a secret. Watch out for chain. Oh. 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 What's this? Okay, that's elevator. Okay, okay.
Great dryer which fits comfortably over the head when upturned, attire of the shamans who perform their worship at, go at jails. Increases the power of thrown pots of all sizes. They offer their prayers to the innards of the great jars, such that they might be reborn one day into the sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth, taken into the hands of mortal men. go this way now hmm well watch out for chains awesome the end of the dungeon. That's, that was awesome. Ding, 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 ding. Return to entrance. Anything else here? Let's see. However, Yash, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent Entire his life at his side in defiance of his self imposed seclusion.
I should be able to level up now. I think I'm gonna go for 69 Vigor and then uh, some stats into Endurance. I think that's how it's gonna be. Is that the dragon? Is that the dragon? Is that thing alive? Yep. Dragon Heart, Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Awesome. <laughs> 